Here is how you avoid getting bad news. Maybe you're worried your boss is going to fire you. Maybe you're worried your girlfriend's going to break up with you. Here is some advice from playwright and songwriter Noel Coward. So it's the 1920s, he's in hospital, and there's this priest that comes to see him. And Noel's like, oh no, this is it. Now don't worry, he is going to live another 50 years, but he doesn't know that at the time. Here's how he gets out of it, and this is from his diary. I knew that unless I did something quickly, he'd blurt it out, that I'd be up Ship Creek without a paddle and with nothing to hang on to and no hope left. And so I did the brassiest thing I've ever done in my life and I still blush when I think. I suddenly reared myself up on my pillows, pulled him towards me and gave him a smacking kiss. Then before he could say anything, I went off into a long spiel. I was a bit hysterical by then and I can't remember exactly what I said. But it was all about me having a thing about him ever since I'd first seen him and that that was the way I was and there was nothing to be done about it and that as he was a doctor I hoped he would understand and not be too shocked and that anyway, being as attractive as he was, he had no right to squeeze people's hands when they were helpless in bed and not expect them to lose control and make a pounce at him and that I'd obeyed an impulse too strong to be resisted, yes I actually said that, if you please, and that I hoped he would forgive me but if he didn't he'd just have to get on with it. I didn't quite know how to finish the scene so I fell back on the old ham standby and burst into tears. <laughs> anyway, the guy gives him a cigarette to calm him down and is like Okay, I, I, I gotta get going now. He went to the door, paused for a moment, and then did one of the kindest things I've ever known. He came back to the bed, put both his arms round me and kissed me very gently, not on the mouth, but on the cheek, as though he were really fond of me. They, then he went out and closed the door quietly after him. Um, stitch this with you trying out the advice, I guess.